Hey troops, George Smith here back with another LEGO Star Wars book review. And today I'm doing The Dark Side by DK Publishing. It comes with one exclusive minifigure as with all these books. <clears throat> and I've got to say, I actually do really like this book. I mean, I, I, was, a, I was a little skeptical at first of to get this. Because generally you'll get, you know, more broad books, for example, the Visual Dictionary or the Character Encyclopedia, things that more apply to the entire range. This just applies to the dark side of Star Wars. It kind of reminds me of the Visual Dictionary, except just, you know, half it taken out. Which just kind of makes me think, are they going to bring out like a light side version of this, you know, but... Even so, the exclusive minifigure though is really, really cool. I cannot wait to unbox this. I've never had an Emperor Palpatine, like, at least in this, you know, his Sith. Stuff, but yeah. <clears throat> By the way, you have to excuse me throughout this review if I sound a little croaky because I do have a sore throat and I have a cold and just yeah, which is always fun. But anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna show you the minifigure and then we'll get into this book, which I've got to say is really, really cool, a lot cooler than I originally thought it was. So, yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> as with all these books, if you don't already know, you simply there's some sellotape here which you've got to take off. Once you cut that sellotape, which does kind of rip the paper, so you know, uh, you take out Charles Palpatine, very nice minifigure. I'll just show you him on his pedestal right now. All right, so here we have Charles Palpatine, or should I say, the Emperor is what he's called in this type of um, thing. Very nice minifigure. I've never had him in this, like, in his actual Sith robes, because when you really think about it, he is kind of rare, you know, in this um, black. <clears throat> Generally, we have seen him a, a few times, like in Death Stars and whatever, but the only sets we've ever seen him in are pretty expensive or, or, or are either pretty old, so, you know. But even so, he's a really cool minifigure. I, he's obviously the ultimate Sith, which is why they put him with the Dark Side book. The printing is very nice. Of course, it's just white lines, because there's not much printing Lego can really do, because he's wearing all black, so. Here's his hood off. You see, he does have... <clears throat> that head is actually the same colour as Darth Vader's, like in the new uh, Star Destroyer. He does have a two-sided face. This is when he goes really evil. He gets really mad. He doesn't come with the lightning. I guess I would kind of like lightning, but then again, it's just an exclusive minifigure. It's not like a proper set, so. As I said before, the printing is alright, you know. He doesn't have any back printing, unfortunately. Like so. And that's his cape. Sorry, it's a little dusty because, well, just because. <laughs> just because, you know, it, it, it just does. It gets dusty. But yeah, that's Charles Palpatine, very cool minifigure. <clears throat> I've got to be honest, I, I wouldn't have expected them to put him in the set, just because he seems like a pretty rare minifigure. I've never had him. So you'd expect someone probably more common, like maybe Darth Vader, or, I don't know, someone along those lines. Maybe even like an Old Republic um, Sith Lord, because we're getting more of those these days. So, But even so, I'm really glad they added him. He's probably the Sith I would have most wanted in this set. He's the ultimate Sith, really. Um, I mean, of course, in the comics, you could argue that some Sith are more powerful, but we won't go into that right now. At least in the <clears throat> technically canon universe, because the comics are no longer canon. Ugh, damn you, Disney. But anyway, um, he is the most powerful Sith to date, so, yeah. But anyway, that's Charles Palpatine, the Emperor himself. And let's just get now get on to the book. Alright, so now moving on to the book itself. Very cool front cover. Very nice. By the way, most of this isn't dust. It's actually just stars in the background. But, yeah. Alright, moving on. As you can see in most books, the majority of how thick it is is just the minifigure. So it's not really that thick. But even so. By the way, the minifigure does come in one. Like, you don't have to build it. Not that's a major issue, but even so. I like this. On the first, like, <clears throat> really front cover, you know, we've got half Anakin's face when he's, like, you know, turning the dark side. It's basically Darth Vader. And then on, like, the very back, I guess, spoiler, <laughs> um, you have Darth Vader's face on the other side. So that's very cool. So, you know, that's, that's, that's very cool. Don't you know over there? <clears throat> got the dark side with some very cool Sith minifigures here. Got Darth Revan and Darth Malgus, two of the coolest Old Republic guys. Very cool. Um, we've got some of that. 
these are all the you know chapters and all that. Obviously, pause it if you want to read them. Got by the way, Darth Maul with his robotic legs. <clears throat> um, <laughs> you got a little thing from Charles Babbage there. And of course, again, pause this if you want to read it. So yeah. Okay, moving on. We've got first off, we've got the Pub Republic Era, Chapter One. I'm going to try and breeze through most of this. I'm only really going to focus on the really, really cool pages, the one you'll be interested in, because uh, there is a lot of this to go through. <clears throat> first off, we've got Charts, Palpatine's Arrest, or whatever, Palpatine Arrest, yeah. Very nice. We've got a bit of, you know, light side here, showing how it all works, you know, all that. <clears throat> got the Jedi Order. This is, of course, the battle that happened on Geonosis. Very cool. Very cool. You know, you even got a bit of Pong Crow. <laughs> so, yeah. Got a bit of Holocrons. You know, just the usual. Uh, Old Republic. I strongly doubt we'll be seeing any more Old Republic sets, which is unfortunate because they were really, really cool. But uh, just because with episode 7, Sarge Rebels, all the stuff coming out, you know, there's just no space. Got Darth Maul, of course, <clears throat> in like the fifth generation Infiltrator. <laughs> I don't know how many Infiltrators we've had. But anyway, I've never had one, by the way. I don't have Darth Maul other than the one with the erotic legs that we got on like the Mandalorian thingy. I've never had an Infiltrator, so. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's him falling to his death. Oh yeah, and this, this is a really cool page. Like the construction of a lightsaber, of course, with Lego pieces. So that this is really cool. <clears throat> Got a little, the little things. You know, it, this is this is awesome. By the way, if you don't know, a Kyber crystal is not just what powers a lightsaber, but it's also what powers the um, Death Star, except a much larger one, obviously. But that is really cool. Seriously, that is awesome. <clears throat> we got again another battle of Genosis. We got Darth Vader, um, sorry, Darth Tyrannus or Count Dooku there. Oop, if I turn page, can any one Sith defeat three Jedi? Well, Darth Tyrannus sort of did, sort of didn't. It's, yeah. But anyway, and then we've got the Clone Wars era. Of course, the best era. <laughs> I think this is probably the largest era because obviously. Um, <clears throat> Sarge Ventress there. Personally, my favourite Sarge Ventress is the one that's coming in the new Anakin Custom Jedi Starfighter. That is the best of Sarge Ventress. Just awesome. Got Savage Press. Really awesome. Got Darth Vader's Apprentice. Darth Vader seems to have a lot of apprentices. Like, if you read all the comics and all the film uh, games and all this stuff, you realise Darth Vader ended up having a lot of apprentices. Although, of course, none of this is canon anymore. Damn you, Disney. <clears throat> but uh, even so. Uh, we've got the different types of weapons. I mean, of course, these aren't all Sith weapons. Quite, in fact, quite a lot of them aren't. But even so, cool. Apparently, that's a Force Pike. What those minifigures had, and whatever that is. Um, get caught. That's the battle with Anakin. You know, the second battle between them. <clears throat> Uh, another thing with like Geonosis, General Grievous. I think this is just like the bad guys who don't really work for the Sith as such, or aren't Sith, but they're bad guys, <laughs> basically. If you didn't know, General Grievous isn't a Sith, by the way, he doesn't have the Force, so. <clears throat> Order 66, arguably one of the most sad moments in all of Star Wars. <laughs> that's, that's just depressing. So, yeah. Very nice. And you notice, by the way, you see Ala Secure, because there's this big thing when the MHC came out that it said on the box these were two twelve or something troopers. When they're not, they're the other ones. So in this representation, it's correct. But it was actually saying that these troopers are those troopers, but they're not. So at least in the book, they've got it right about which troopers are which. And of course, the final battle, in my opinion, the best lightsaber battle of all Star Wars. Just it was epic so badly. And this one was also really cool. If you don't know my favourite film, by the way, is Episode 3. So, yeah, I sort of grew up on the prequels at the end of the day, I was 17, so anyway. Um, yeah, very cool. Got the different stages of Anakin. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you got this thing, which is kind of fun actually, showing how much of a Sith I use, you know. Ask these questions and say yes, or say no, and you could end up either Darth Vader, Sith Lord, a fallen Jedi like Pong Krell, Dark Side Warrior, a rogue, or a Jedi Knight. So, yeah. I don't know what I am, <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll see. And of course the Empire era, an incredible era, I, I love it. After the Republic era, and like the Clone Wars and stuff, one of my best series. And of course this is a very cool page with Darth Vader and what he looks like inside. Of course, in Lego version, but even so. That's cool. That is cool. Very, very cool. The man in the mask. So, yeah, that's, so that's a very cool page. I <clears throat> uh, don't know what this is. I think it's comic, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Um, yeah, something to do with the comic, I don't know. I don't know what this is, really. Uh, Imperial Forces, got the new 8080 there. Actually, is that a new one? I think that's a new one, yeah. Because I'm not 100% when this book came out. I know it came out in 2014, but I'm not sure this came before or after the summer line. But, yeah. Some pretty cool stuff there. Got Darth Vader. <laughs> I love the way they've done this in like the World War II posters. They've done that same sort of style. Very nice. This book is, I've got to say, it's one of the coolest books, Lego Star Wars books I've had. I mean, I don't really have that many, but even so, it, it's, it's up there. Because it's a really, really cool book. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. And of course, there you got, um, I don't remember his name, Starkiller, that's it. Sorry, Starkiller. <clears throat> or Galen Merrick, you know, in the Force Unleashed game, one of the best Star Wars games ever, I think you'll agree. I never got that set, believe it or not. Maybe I'll get it one day. I'm not sure how much it goes for on eBay. Probably quite a lot of mint condition because it seems pretty cool. But even so, you got Darth Vader and, and some of the battles between them, you know, some of the Sith battles. <clears throat> Rebel Alliance, about how they did, how they work. And of course you've got these planet sets. Ugh, remember the planet sets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course the best was Coruscant. Because I had the clone and just Coruscant itself is a pretty cool planet. Uh, this is the Death Star. A set I really want to get one day. Oh my gosh. Um, just more about the Death Star. The Death Star was an extremely large set. you got of course the thing here showing the inner workings of the Death Star. And as I said before... The Kyber Crystal um, is what powers it, or what focuses it, I'm not sure. Something to do with that. <clears throat> Got another fight. It's pretty cool. Yeah, apparently this is a little thing where everyone's on vacation. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think this was something from the Yoda Chronicles or something. I can't remember. Obviously it's not true. It's just what Lego made up, but even so. Very cool. This looks like a very cool scene that I want someone to recreate. Like, stop motion off, because that, that's just awesome. Yeah, very nice. I guess, like, the Inquisitor's TIE um, Advance thing, I guess it's like a prototype to this, which is Darth Vader's TIE uh, Advanced. I guess, I don't know. Very nice. Another thing from the Yoda Chronicles. Yeah, oh yeah, this is... um. Darth Vader's diary, apparently. About, yeah, and you see he draws these weird things. Evan Jin. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay then. Uh, of course, a sand cooler. Very cool. Got Holocron, you know, Holocron Hunt. Bounty Hunters, some of the coolest people in the entire galaxy, obviously, so I think you agree. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> Here you have Darth Vader's Super Star Destroyer. 
apparently we're getting another one of those, these Imperial Shuttles in the, um, with Summerliner this year. So, I don't know. Not going to be UCS, but even so. And that looks really cool. That looks really cool, actually. And actually, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, that looks pretty accurate for something that they just made up. Because I've, I've never seen that a natural set. So who knows, maybe one day, that's a natural set that will be coming. Maybe. Because it looks pretty accurate or pretty, you know, well done for it just to be like a thing in a book. But, I don't know. Who knows? So, that'd be pretty cool. We got, by the way, of course, when this book came out, we did not have the UCS Slave 1. So this is that the Tran 10 version? Yeah. By the way, I do not have a Slave 1. I do want to get one soon, though. The UCS one looks so cool. <clears throat> anyway, Super Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer, TIE Fire, TIE Inceptor. We need to get another version of those. Everyone's been asking Lego, we want another version. Like, you know, another one that's not blue. Because look, all the others are back. That one's blue. Anyway, TIE Advanced, TIE Defender from the Expanded Universe, TIE Bomber. Again, we need another version, not with the blue. Don't know why they ever had blue. And this TIE Automatic Starfighter with like, it's basically a TIE Fighter with a droid pilot. Don't be surprised if you don't recognise this. It was, I think it was mostly in the Expanded Universe and stuff you didn't see. Uh, we did get this once in like a very old set with like, it was actually a really cool set. It was like a TIE collection. It had like four TIE Fighters in it. It was, it was, it was awesome really. But uh, yeah, we've got the Shuttle, Dropship, and of course the Death Star, the Ultimate Collector Series. <clears throat> Here we have uh, Cloud City, pretty cool, and this looks pretty detailed as well, who knows, maybe this is coming in a set soon as well, because you know, I know sometimes in these books they like to drop hints, so maybe, you know, all this looks fairly detailed, so maybe this is an actual set will be coming at some point. I mean, of course we've had no rumours in the 2015 summer line yet, and it doesn't seem like they planned so far ahead to have in 2016, but, so yeah, really, um... That's still a very cool set though. I was never a massive fan of Cloud City. I think the main reason everyone loved Cloud City set from years ago is because of Dark, uh, Boba Fett and it had arm printing, which of course was awesome. And that minifigure goes for like £500. It's ridiculous what that minifigure goes for. But uh, I was never a massive fan of it, I've got to be honest. Got some of this. Can a Sith Lord be redeemed? All that. Very cool. So apparently Anakin was the chosen one after all, even though he did become Darth Vader. <laughs> and became known as one of the greatest Jedi killers of all time, he technically did destroy the Sith. So it was all good. <laughs> anyway, so the glossary and all that stuff. Yada yada. And that is the book. <clears throat> Just showing a quick look at the back. Very cool. By the way, I recommend you get, you know, start getting some of these stuff soon on eBay, like some of the sets you've seen here, because, well, they will not be around for long. And not just that, though, but, like, a lot of the stuff in this book really was from the Clone Wars, obviously. You know, uh, even though a lot was also from the Empire era, a lot was from the Clone Wars, because the Clone Wars has been such a large part of LEGO. And obviously with that going out of style and we having less and less Clone Wars sets, I recommend if you want a set in this book, you go get it quickly because it will not be around for long if it's even still out anymore. Like go on eBay or something to go get it. But um, yeah, so there you go then. Some really, really cool sets, pictures and all that in here, which of course I'd really want to see again. For example, the Titan Interceptor. A ton of sets would be really cool. Uh, just, yeah. Uh, of course, some of the 2015 sets are um, Imperial, like the Battle Pack, but they are not here near because this was a 2014 set. Um, but that is it then. So yeah, overall this book is awesome. I mean, as I already said before, this book truly is something. I would highly recommend you get this book. It is really, really cool. Um, I mean, perhaps my favorite book is still the Visual Dictionary, the new expanded one, just because it has every style set ever. But who knows? I hope one day we'll have a, like, a light side version of this, but there's no... Rumours or anything stated as of yet of having a light side version, so who knows, but uh, I really want one of those. But yeah, really, it's, it's a really awesome book. I think, uh, I think this goes for like £12 or something. It doesn't go for that much, not as much as other books, but it goes for a fair amount. So, yeah, but even so, I do recommend, if you've got some money spare, perhaps you don't want any battle packs or whatever, 
then yeah, pick up this book, you know. If you're a parent and you think you want to buy for your child, like for their birthday or whatever, then yeah, get them this Lego Star Wars book. It's it's cool. It, you know, I, I do recommend it. But anyway, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the next review after this will be my, uh, the new Brickmaster. It'll be in two parts because there's so much to that review. So yeah, and then after that, I'll be on the 2015 sets finally because it's been way too long, just way too long. Anyway, so if you did like this review, please do give it a like down below because it really, I do really do appreciate it and it shows me if you like this or not. Please leave down in the comments any questions or queries you may have. Um, and of course, please subscribe to this and my second channel. I know this is my first video in like a week, which for me, right, right now, is pretty, that's wow, because I have so many stuff, so much stuff to do. That's because I'm trying to do so much stuff before the 2015 line. And if you have been subscribed to my second channel, you will know I've been putting quite a few videos on there. And I hope you will enjoy a lot of them. So please go subscribe there to see them. I have been active in this last week. I've just been doing stuff. But, um, yeah, so there you go. The, that is the Lego Star Wars The Dark Side book. I really enjoyed it. I And I can't wait for more books to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in another review. Stay awesome. Bye, troops.